we have Ben Shapiro, AKA Jupak Shapur, who is now the number one rapper in America. This has taken the world by storm. It's actually the number one rapper in the world right now. And Tom McDonald, who's a fantastic rapper. If you check out Tom McDonald, he's got White Boy. He's got the song No Response. He's got Bad News. Well, he went ahead and included Ben in his new song, which Ben is not known to be a rapper. He's a classically trained violinist, but this is new. So Ben has even spoken against rap in the past. I'm gonna read fact. Rap isn't music, gang. And if you think it is, you're stupid. So I thought that was very interesting. He got the attention of Nicki Minaj. Nicki and him have been going back and forth. They've had a little beef, as they say in the business, but Ben Starimes uh, dropped this hot beat and Nicki wrote, Ben Shapiro, like Ben, D. Ben Shapiro is number one on iTunes. This better be a good edit, y'all. Quit playing. And then she went and she listened to the song and she had to accept her fate. The notorious B.E.N. had laid down the hottest track, number one in the world. So she wrote, Dang, Ben Shapiro put out a diss record. He said his comment section are filled with woke Karens. The song is number one on iTunes. What is really happening here? And then she goes, I got to tell you, Ben, congrats on number one. Kind of sounds like one of my songs, but you went and did that. So congratulations, Ben Shapiro, on your new career. Beminem, uh, the rapper had one line that particularly stood out because rappers are known for being very funny and having like disses. This one he wrote, my money like Lizzo, my pockets are fat. I thought that was really good. Like, can you even say that online? So that was fantastic. And uh, if you think about it, rap is not just hip hop music for the urban youth. Uh, P. Diddy, P. Diddles, P. Diddle, whatever his name is now, he went and said that he takes hit from the 80s, yeah, yeah, and it sounds so crazy, yeah, yeah. So they were taking hits we already liked and mixing it. So it's no surprise that a Jewish conservative can climb to the top of the charts and do it. So the notorious B-E-N might join forces with Candace Owens, Jordan Peterson, and Michael Knowles and create a new group, the Jew Tang Clan. Wouldn't that be something?